All right, now we live. All right, now we live, y'all. Today we're going to have a very interesting... We're going to have a very interesting stream today. Okay, we're going to have a special guest today. We're going to conduct a very proper... You know, just interview today. What uh, you know, I'm doing my bird man hand walk right now. <laughs> Melly, what's up? I know my bird call ain't that good, but I don't care. I don't care. I still try it. <laughs> bird man stunner. Bird man stunner. So we gonna have a very special guest today. All right, waiting for this brother to join. This is a, a, a ex member of Melanation who, excuse me, Carbonation. Okay, Nature Boy Camp who just left. So I'm going to have the, the honor, you know, and the um, I'm going to have the honor and the uh, ability to interview this brother. Now let me let y'all know something before we come in here. Hold, on, let me see if he in the um request yet. Okay, hold on, let me resend it. Let me make sure he get let me make sure he get it. Hold on, let me tell him. Okay, now I resent it now. I'ma have him introduce himself. Alright? And um, I wanna say this before he come in. You know, we don't we don't we don't mess with nature boy. That's that's what it is. We don't we don't jack nature boy. But I do want everybody to make to remain respectful. I want everybody to remain cordial and show some decorum. Alright, on this platform. Now anybody else, y'all can chew their ass out in the comments. I don't care. But, you know, we're gonna have we're gonna show some proper behavior, you know, why this brother is on this uh platform. Because for him to leave carbonation, he got his mind right. Okay? He got his mind right, damn it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying his mind right wasn't right all his life. I don't know what decided to, you know, to make him go there. And that's why we want to, you know, do this interview. Because I honestly want to know, you know, how Nature Boy is mixed swindling people. Because he's using people's will to better themselves to get them in his little cult trap. Where he's, you know, being vindictive, etc. So we don't want nobody to feel... Like they don't have a right to say, you know what, this wasn't for me, and I want to speak about it. Period. Especially with that. And so, with that being said, you know, y'all can slay Nature Boy all through the comments. But anybody that come on here from the, who used to be affiliated with Carbon Nation, you know, they they welcome to come on here and know that they got a safe haven, straight up. So we not gonna, you know, be assholes or be rude. You know, I just want to put that out there. So when he come on here, you know. We gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' do it as such, straight up. The man tell his story, and we you know because we here to smack nature boy. We not here to get on nobody who trying to better themselves in life. So, you know I want to lay that out. All right, what's going on with you? Oh wait, hold on. The the, the sound got a the sound got a log in. All right, you in it? You you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, let me before you before you jump in. Let me let me say this one more time to the people. All right, so this brother going to introduce himself, but let me say this, y'all. We don't, I don't give a fuck what y'all say about Nature Boy in the comments. Say what you want to say. But anybody who come on here from Carbon Nation who just so happen to be uh, involved, okay, we going to show them, you know, as much respect as possible because they on the quest just like we on the quest to better ourselves. And so we don't want people to lose focus of the fact that no matter who, it's just like people getting scammed by polite. I got scammed by polite. My damn self. Trying to better myself. And so sometimes you you come in contact with people who act like they got the mentality you have and you realize later in life that's not true. So, you know, the reason we the reason I'm, you know, reaching out to this brother is because I know the shit Nature Boy is on. I already know that from the gate. So I just want to try to get an inside perspective so people don't, you know, 
fall for this same scenario. So this brother, right? And, and like I said, we we gonna let you know. I'm a, all, all I can do is assume that these are facts. I don't know him personally. I don't, you know, he don't know me personally. All I can do is assume that what this brother is saying is the truth. So it is, uh, you know, first I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, and then I'm gonna, uh, you know, ask the people. Is it true that you would left carbonation? And if so, you know, tell us why. So I'm gonna let you introduce yourself and we're gonna go on from here. Peace, God. Yo, they call Peace. me natural, you feel me? So uh yeah, okay. they call me natural. I'm from up north, I'm from New York City. Uh I joined Carbonation like last May, May of this year, right? And uh so many reasons why I joined. First of all, because I was following a lot of you brothers, uh as far as the black conscious movement is concerned, I was uh, inspired by a lot of y'all teachings and stuff like that. And basically, his movement looked like there was actual movement to it at the time. You know what I mean? He left the country and everything. So I was like, yo, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? If, if we're going to complain about the white man being our oppressor, we might as well get from up under his system. You know what I mean? Well, of course, later I came to find out that he has a grasp on the whole world. You feel me? Anywhere you go, you're going to see that white man system being implemented, whether it's at a, a, a big level or a smaller level. It exists everywhere you go. You know what I mean? But I'm right. going to find that out later. But um, as far as Nature Boy, you know, he inspired me. When I came across his teachings, I figured... Yo, I can help people the same way he's helped me. So I began doing that. You know what I mean? And eventually... Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I'm going to ask you... I don't know if you're on Wi-Fi, but I'm going to ask yeah. you if, if you can stay as still as possible so the camera you. don't glitch while you're talking. I got you. Okay, cool. We good. So, yeah, when I came across his teachings, basically, it inspired me to do the same thing, to make videos discussing about uh, knowledge itself. You know what I mean? Just information that helped me in my life. Some information came from you as well as far as like the spirit diet. All of these things changed my life. So I just wanted to do for people what you guys have done for me. It's particularly Nature Boy because I saw him out in nature, out in the jungle. And I just looked, I just looked in my eyes what reality was. It looked the closest to what truth is. You know what I mean? Right, so, uh, right. Nothing wrong with that. that. Yeah, so I began to do that. I went out on a journey of my own. You know what I mean? It didn't go the way I had anticipated but nevertheless i went and i gained experience from it so i'm proud of that but um eventually we we connected like we reached out to each other and he I, he honestly just asked me to come a long way help him where he's at like you don't got to be over there doing that you belong here with me and so let me so pause 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 because i want to i want to ask you this so of course you 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 was influenced but did nature boy initially ask you to come out there or you asked him to go out there a bit of both, because I reached out to him and let him know I was on my way to uh, Costa okay. Rica. I, I told him I was on my way to Costa Rica, right? But by that time, he had got deported from there. So when, by the time I was out there, they was like in Texas, I believe. So we wasn't able to connect. So a part of me still wanted to make that connection, you know what I mean? Because the brother's information helped me in my life. So I'm the, I'm the kind of guy like, I'm going to ride with you, but I'm trying to fly with you, like. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not here to right. be your chief leader. I'm here to get down with you. Like, what we doing? What they buying? What we selling? Let's get it. You feel me? So right. I still wanted to connect with him. I'm not going to lie. But by that time, I was in the tropics. He wasn't. So I was just like, damn, I ended up vibrating back to the northern hemisphere. You feel me? Right. But by then, he was in Belize. So I told him, yo, I'm going to Belize. But before I headed out to Belize, he actually told me, yo, we'll be in a different location. So he sent me that, uh, that location, so I vibrated there, which happened to be at the time uh, Cancun. So this is where we finally connected in Cancun, when he did finally make his way back to the tropics. Because I was going right. to go to Belize, but obviously they have moved from there. So he told me, go here, he'll be there. I went, and there he was. You know what I mean? So that's initially how we connected. But I would say, yes, I, I definitely reached out, to him to, reached out to him to join them, but I, I would say... He, he gracefully accepted and asked me to join him where he was at. You know what I mean? He gave me the location right. and everything. So I would say a bit of both because, honestly, I was I was doing what he inspired me to do without him. Like, it's, it's kind of like that thing, like, you, 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 you idolize someone so much that you don't even care to meet them. Their words and their actions have changed your life so much that you know what I mean? So I began to take action, but then he's just like, yo, 
pull up to where I'm at, I'm like, let's do it. No, that's right. And I respect that. And as you know, that's why before I came on here, I let people know, you know, we're not going to play with nobody or antagonize nobody because we grown. And at the end of the day, you know, I don't fuck with Nature Boy. That's not a secret. But right. I know what he's doing. He's... He's he's putting up a it's like it's like a spider in a spider web. He making the shit look silky, then you get caught in it and he comes suck your fluids out. It's like he 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 putting up this image of I'm in the I'm in nature and I'm doing this, that, and the third. And what you doing is you 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 placating on people who really trying to better themselves and then you 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 getting them into your grasp. And once again, even though he don't got nothing to do with this subject, this the same shit polite was doing, playing on people. Who trying to better themselves, and you getting them in your grasp, and you you doing you know the devilish shit you like to do, and so the reason I wanted to uh you know get that introduction definitely is because it's it's I got scammed before, ain't nobody you know what I'm saying mother it happens, but the point I'm trying to make is I want people to see that this is why you cannot be trusted motherfuckers outside yourself. It ain't even just about niggas on the internet. It's about yourself it's not a motherfucker because i'm pretty sure but as before we continue on in the experience i mean an experience as you said you got the experience now i'm pretty sure you realize it ain't shit i did that i couldn't have came out here and did on my own you know what i'm saying it, i'm pretty sure you like i could have came out here and did it i could have visited these places on my fucking own you know what i'm saying lived out here on my own you didn't need this nigga to be you know a part of that journey and so all you did was feel some negative energy that you didn't have to feel. And so, mm. you know, that's just the truth. And then the thing that killed me is, you know, and I'm going to ask you, because I'm assuming, like I said, I'm assuming from what I see, the yeah. nigga is, is living in a house that he's paying for, or that is not like nature, okay? The nigga got, tech he has technology, correct? Right. Okay, it's internet out there, correct? Right. That's how it's we connect them right there, now. Correct? So that's not nature. I can't, I can't, I can't get on the internet with a Buddhist monk. A Buddhist monk ain't going to get on my Instagram. Life. And I'm not knocking, you know, that lifestyle because you in a, you in a tropical environment, you know, you, you in a, you basically living at some, in a, in a place that a person would like to go on vacation at. So I'm not knocking that. But what I'm saying is the facade he's putting up. Cause if you was really, because I want to ask right now, is nature boy growing his own food? Okay. Right. Cool. He growing his own food? Well, they was in the process of it while I was there. They were starting to, yeah. But I get which, I get where you're going with this. And to be honest, that's kind of how I felt. You know what I mean? But from, right. from the outside looking in, it, I, didn't, I didn't get that. I was just, I was captivated by the information, by the teachings, by the knowledge. You understand what I'm saying? By the gift okay. of God. So when I, when I made it out there, I started seeing little, how, how would you say, chinks in his armor. But I'm the kind of dude, like, you my man, right? I'm riding right. with you. You might do some fuck shit, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull your card in front of people. I respect myself enough to pull you to the side and be like, yo, that shit you did, da da da. You feel me? Like only because I respect myself to that extent. That's the kind of dude I am. Like if I'm gonna ride with you, I'm gonna ride with you. But I was ignoring certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like like that. Like one of those. Like like what you just men mentioned. For instance, like they're not growing their own food completely. No, they they're starting to. They don't even have enough land to really grow as much food as they need. So I understand where, you, where you're going with this. But I definitely experienced some of that where I felt like it was one thing, but when I got there, it was another thing. And this is not me trying to sway anybody from going there or none of that. Because like I said, I gained experience from it, and I needed that. Because I'm the type of dude, if I don't, like everything you just said, right? I've heard, I heard that before I even went there. But I'm not going to judge you off somebody else's experience with you. I'm gonna judge you off my experience with you. You understand what I'm saying? And don't get me right, wrong. Right, but we also gotta. Every... We also not to cut you off, but sometimes we gotta live. Like that's what that's what people do reviews for. Like if, if a restaurant, if a restaurant got a hundred reviews that say it's roaches in the kitchen, hell no, I'm not going to that restaurant. You know, so right. It, it, it's like it's like you know we we want to love our people and give our people the benefit of the doubt, but we also gotta respect. Reviews, you know what I'm right. saying? If, if a if 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 maybe let's say 20 people saying the same thing, but they all in the same group, then maybe we could be like y'all all in cahoots. But if 20 motherfuckers who don't know each other 
is saying the same thing, we got to, you know, take that into account. And I wanted to ask you, yeah. you know, what, what, what did you feel was the reason that made you say, I don't want to be a part of Carbon Nation no more? Because the reason I'm saying that is because, you know, I could play the video right now, but I'm not going to do that yet. I mean, I'm not yeah. going to do that right now. But there's a video basically of Nature Boy saying, if you don't join Carbon Nation, you go into hell. And okay. so I, I have to, you know, say that because apparently now, according to his teachings, you will be somebody who's going to hell because you left the chosen few elite. And so, you know, the reason I say that is because what, not saying you even give a damn about that, but this is this is his doctrine. Now you left the chosen elite, you susceptible to go to hell now because he's the Christ. And so I have to ask you, what made you say, I can't be a part of this shit any longer? You know, that's what, that's, we, I, you know, that's what the people want to know because Right. We the reason I'm saying it is because if anybody thinking of joining anything that we deem a cult or that we deem a healthy group, whatever, we want to know why people choose to leave these situations. We ain't hating on nobody, but we want to know. We want honest reviews. If you don't want to eat at this restaurant no more, we want to know why. Was it right. nasty? Was it you know what I'm saying? So we want to know what made you say, you know, I can't I can't jack melanation no more. I mean carbonation, period. All right, bear with me. So like I said before, I was ignoring things that was sticking out. You know what I mean? Because I'm just so loyal like that. I'm a fixed earth sign. I'm very grounded, but things, very but practical. things like things like things. I got you, you could go right. Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna go into detail. Basically, and again, I'm only going into detail because this is my experience. I'm not here to talk about anyone else's experience, unless it had a direct correlation with me. You understand what I'm saying? So when I Correct. first got out there, when I first got out there, I had went out there with a young lady. You understand what I'm saying? And this young lady, we was in the United States together and we vibrated out of here together. So we, as soon as we got there though, it's like, it's like he prayed on, on her mind in a certain way. Like he saw, he saw she was mentally weak, if you understand what I'm trying to say. And uh, right. so he was just getting at her. He was just getting at her. And he was basically telling her that she's feeling his man. You understand what I'm saying? But someone right. like myself is like, I wasn't really pressed because of that. I was just like, damn it. If she, I mean, if she's willing to go with him and she just got here with me, then that was never mine to begin with. You understand? I knew enough to have that type of discernment in my own mind. But yeah. I, I, in my heart, I was like, that shit wrong. That was some fuck shit. But I ignored yeah. it because it was a female. It was like, you know what I mean? I wasn't even thinking on that level at that moment. I didn't leave the United States with this female uh, to, try to, to try to be a unit with her or, or, or present ourselves as something we not. We just met. So I didn't expect her to be so down with me, but I definitely didn't expect her to jump ship that easily. So basically, so basically, so I, so I could follow. You got you went down there with a female, right? And Nature Boy tried because he 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 go at everybody, girl. Right, so right. That's, but he that, wasn't that's just what, right. So he, he wasn't went, trying to go at her for him per se. You understand what I'm saying? He was trying to get her to vibe with his man. He was basically telling her, "You feeling my man?" And don't no, deny right, 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 right. He's pressuring right. her. Right. So he pressured her into actually doing something she wasn't really agreeing with. So I seen that in her, and I kind of felt bad for the girl. Like, I'm not going to lie, my heart melted. I was like, yo, that's wrong. And she wasn't, she wasn't so... So she long story short, he pressured her into having sex with somebody. Into being in a relationship, quote unquote, with somebody, yes. I don't know what they did, because they was in their privacy, you know what I'm saying? But we can right. assume that for sure. But what I'm saying is, like, I felt bad for the girl. Like, bitch, you could have stood up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, say, I don't want it. And I'm not saying she had to be with me. I'm just saying right. you don't know. Damn phone over. I hear you. So, basically, that was the first thing that happened. And that happened as soon as we got there. You know what I mean? And right. we actually, we actually were used to having, like, group meetings so that was during the meeting and it was like a four-hour meeting and i'm like yo it's not even that serious she want to go with him she can go and they asked me like what what do i think about her saying she's attracted to him and i was just like yo i want what's for me clearly that's not for me but i ain't want no negative energy between me and me and me and old boy because i just got there you know what i'm saying i'm not i didn't go there to try to step on nobody's toes or try to be the new hot shot of none of that i went there to try to help people the same way i was helped and I and I just as a student, I honestly right. had a pure intent. I just wanted to help my people. But like you said, right. sometimes we try to help our people. We don't. We give them the benefit of the doubt 
when things are when clearly there's rumors coming out about these people and stuff like that. We ignore that. So that was one time I ignored that. You know what I mean? I could tell you a few other times as well. Like I'm not gonna lie, when 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 Mama Dia had passed, she was she was an elderly lady that was staying with us in the jungle. And funny thing is, she gravitated toward me so much. Like she used to take care of me like a fucking mother, like real shit. Giving right. me tea, having lunch with me. She was just she was just really really attentive toward me for for whatever reason i just you know and i appreciated that so one day we all wake up she didn't wake up you understand what i'm saying and i was just like yo i know we under, i understand we have not we have divine knowledge itself you know what i mean i get we understand life and death we have a deeper understanding about these things than most people yeah but why does it still feel like you know what i mean like we lost somebody and right. they basically they basically use that as like a i don't even know what to call it as like a I don't know, as a weakness of mine, I guess, they try to say, oh, you fold under pressure because when Mama Dia died, you was like, you ain't know what to do. And honestly, I wasn't even running around all crazy. I was just honestly asking that question. Like, yo, you was mourning, you was mourning, yeah, you was mourning the death of somebody, which is fucking normal. Basically. You know, and And, they use that. And that's another thing I I ignored. I was just like, why you, that's that's low key, like bullying somebody. Like, oh, he weak. Cause he had a heart or some shit. I'm like, what is that? Like, I didn't even understand that to begin with. But I so guess, I, I guess, so basically, when Mama D died, you know, outside of yourself, Nature Boy basically handled the situation as something that you shouldn't show any emotional credence towards because that's weakness. For myself, that was that was my experience with the situation. Absolutely, and I'm like, what you right. mean? Like, that means because we intelligent beings, we don't have a heart now. We don't feel. So, so let me right. So let me let me ask you this, because we know Mama Dia was sick. Did Nature Boy know that she had a medical illness? Okay, because the nigga. The reason I'm asking you that is because this nigga. Right. Yeah, I had to get out the rain real, real right. quick. Now you all right? Just let me know when you're back stable. All right, I'm good right here. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, no, I just wanted to know that because he act like he didn't know after she passed, he tried to just basically disassociate himself from any any responsibility, you know, from this woman's, you know, passing. And so, right. you know, I'm going to let you continue the story on to what made you leave. Right. What, so that's what just, last that's just right. another, can you hear me? Right. All right. That's, that's just one of the other things that I was basically ignoring. Because when, when that happened, like, I just felt like, yo, you supposed to be my man. If that's a weakness, you know what I'm saying? Don't point it out and, and, and I guess belittle me because of it. Tell me like, yo, I just didn't take, I couldn't take it serious. Like, what you mean that's a weakness? Like, somebody clearly didn't wake up with us. And what's funny is I was sleeping right next to her in terms of where our tent was set up on the property. So she would get up at night and shit and be like, yo, I got to walk back to the house. Or I got to, you know, I got to relieve myself. So I would walk with her. And she would just be mad loving with me. So I had, I had a little... Because right. you good in your tent, you don't go check for your brother's tent and da-da-da-da-da. And I understood where he was coming from with it, but he he turned it into an issue. He made a spectacle out of it. What he did was he starts, he, he had us standing out in the rain for like four hours telling us how that's a weakness, how if one of your brothers, yo, can you hear me? I can hear you, but they saying they can't hear you. Hold on, Man, I think you're good same. now. Hold on. They said, they said, can you... They saying, can you go in the crib where you closer to the Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a it's a jog from there to here, so you're gonna have to give me a second. Uh, well, well if the Wi-Fi would be better, we'll wait on you. All right, so I I jump back in. You heard? Right? Okay, yeah, yeah I, just come in the comments when you're ready. We be here. All right. I, 
Yeah, he'll be back. He'll be back with the Wi-Fi better, but you know that that's my main point. You know, right, here we go. Here we go, right here. Bam, he back. All right. Y'all gotta be patient, family. We're dealing with the signal. You know what I'm saying? Be patient. Be patient. Y'all can hear me? Okay, okay, straight. Okay. You good? No, you good? Oh, all right. So yeah, like I was saying, basically okay. one of the final one of the last straws, right? Was like the night prior that I left. It was like storm and rain. When when did you leave? When when did you leave? Because the last thing I remember you saying is is y'all was getting rained on in the tents and he ain't even checked on it. Yeah, that morning I had left. Cause we what, getting, but what day was that? What day was that? I say for sure it was uh it must about have a week? Been September 29th, something like that. Okay. Right. So I was there from May May 29th to like September 29th. But um so we it, we was getting rained on and he was basically getting at us about not checking on each other. You know what I mean? Like your tent is good. So you don't walk around, make sure everybody else good or they not flooded or they might need help and stuff like that. So he basically had us out there all night. I had, that, that was maybe three o'clock in the morning when, the, when it was storming so bad that it woke us up. And, and we usually got a way of communication, but it was so loud and storming that we couldn't hear nobody, nobody, nothing. We can't hear no form of communication, nobody yelling. And we a little bit of, we a couple feet away from each other, but we far enough to not be able to hear in the, in the storm and rain. So that was my excuse. Like, I couldn't hear nothing. And plus, I was asleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. And it wasn't bad enough in my tent where it woke me up with the water. I just felt a little bit of drops, and I, I guess, moved over. But he had us out there all night from, like, 3 in the morning to sunrise. And then I, I basically felt like he was just going to say, y'all niggas take it down, man. Y'all disappointed me or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I figured he was tight at the fact that we didn't help each other. And I can see where that's important, especially we're in a foreign country. Most people don't speak the language. Anything could happen. So he had a point there, but I was just getting fed up with the shit. And what he did in that moment, right, he made me take most of the clothing out of my tent just in case this happens again. My clothes won't get flooded. So while I'm upstairs, I guess one of his, one of his uh, students was like, he, he called you, he called you uh, King Dingling, some shit like that, because I had said that about him. But the reason I said that, right, we was all on the compound, right? And he was having a meeting with his wives. And my wife right. went there to get some clothes off the line. And he pulled it to the side. And just from, from afar, that looked funny to me. So I'm like, yo, what you having a meeting with my wife? Am I invited? And he was like, no, nah, you can come over. But he stopped me in my tracks before I came over. He said, matter of fact, we about to have a group discussion about this anyway. So I was like, I bet. I ain't have nothing to worry about. So I thought. I ain't say nothing, right? I go in the kitchen. I'm fixing me some water. My wife comes towards me, and she's like, let me tell you what just happened. So innocently, like, she, she, her, her consciousness supersedes her age, but she still has a lot of inexperience. So right then and there in that moment, she was about to tell me what he was just saying to her. And I'm like, yo, the nigga standing right next to you. But she didn't really grasp that. She's like, yo, let me tell you what just happened. And then he's like, Nature Boy's like, now nah, hold on. We're about to have a group discussion about what just happened. But clearly, he didn't want her to tell me something. But she was dead ass just about to open up and express what just happened while she was getting some clothes off the line. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So when this is happening, he's like, let me have a meeting with all the couples. So he, he pulled all of the dudes to the side that have a wife. And he was basically saying, like, I love, you. I love the couples here because I see myself in all the men. So when I see a woman with y'all, it's like she's with me because y'all and me, we got the same mind. He was breaking that down. But um, what basically happened when he was having a meeting with my wife is he was basically telling her, like, yo, why don't you be with me? Because the reason you attracted to natural is because he has my mind. So why he's a filter of me. He's like a derivative of what I am. So why don't you come straight to the source? But she wasn't jacking that. She was like, yeah, yeah, that should sound good, but I'm for him. Like, I respect your mind. Like, I want to be your student, but I never came here to be your wife. I came here to be his wife. And what's funny is I thought he, he and I had established that previously. Like, yo, this is my joint. She about to come over. She's down for the co she, she down for the cause. Like, she's going to help us perpetuate this message. But I didn't know, like, he had an ulterior motive. Like, he's like, yeah, you can bring a nigga, but that's going to be mine. But I ain't really, honestly, I didn't think that. You know what I'm but saying? But let so, me say this to you. Let me say this to you. Because you probably didn't know. Maybe you ain't seen no exposed videos or something we did. 
Did you, you didn't realize that every girl he's with now, he took from another nigga that was already over there? Wow. You so you didn't, uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there. He, EJ was Omec girl. Okay. That was Omec girl. Like, it's because Nature Boy act like girls came over there for him. That's not a fact. Nature Boy was by himself. Niggas came, it's just like you. Niggas came over there with their women already. Nature Boy took these niggas girls and eventually these niggas left and the girls stayed. EJ, I got a picture right now, I'm looking at right now, of Omek and EJ together. EJ, Ileana, the, the Christ, was Omek girl. Nature Boy took her from Omek. The other two, he took from other niggas. And there's one of them over there right now, which you know who I'm talking about. I don't know her name. She's pregnant because they are pregnant. And one and the one of them don't know who her father is, don't know who the father is, because Nature Boy took her from another nigga. And so he took all, all of them, whether you knew it before you got over there or not, he took them women from niggas that was over there the same way he tried to finesse your finesse your girl, but your girl was loyal, so she ain't go for it. But that's just show you that he's a snake nigga. I, yo, this shit crazy. But I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead. Right, so Old girl that I had went there with, she already, she already, uh, she did the pancakes. She flip flopped on me as soon as we got there. She went to the next boy. Then she ended up coming back to me. I ended up putting hands on this woman out of my frustration. And don't get it twisted. Like, I don't abuse women. I got five sisters and I'll kill for them and I'll die for them. But this young lady was just like flowing with the wind. Like, anything somebody tell her to do, she's doing. So I kind of. Now, pause, up. pause, pause, because. I don't really know people in their names. So I, I would have to ask you, you know, from, from the best way I could connect so people could have a good understanding too because we don't never want nobody to put no words in you. Are you talking about the uh, light-skinned girl who said that you hit her after y'all was interacting with each other? That was nine. Mama nine at the time. That, that okay. was the time I left with. But I was so frustrated dealing with her. Like, I, wanted, I felt like, bitch, stand up for yourself. Like, you don't want me. You don't want him. You just coming to us because niggas is telling you what to do. Like, I was so frustrated in that moment. And I got beside myself. When I'm more intelligent than that, but I just couldn't take it. Like, the, the, the weakness in her, I just wanted her to stand up for herself so bad. She wasn't able to do that. She ended up leaving anyway. You understand what I'm saying? She, she, she might have been there for a month uh, in its entirety. Her whole uh, stay out there was probably a month. But then when my when my wife vibrated right toward us, she was like the youngest one, the prettiest in my opinion. Obviously, that's my wife. I'm a bit biased. I'm like, yo, she's pretty as fuck. But I didn't know in his mind. He's like, all these women come for me. They come through y'all, but they come for me. And I understood everything he was saying, right? But me, I'm me. Like I love who I am. Like I I have a chip on my shoulder sometimes. Like I think I'm that nigga. Whether I, whether I'm down and out or I'm not, I still feel like I. I could get through whatever situation I'm placed in. Right. Like, this is what we have as a people. We very resilient. So I'm like, that shit, that shit applies to all y'all motherfuckers. But my wife is for me. But I guess that bruised his ego when she stood up and she was like, nah, I ain't for you. I'm for natural. He wasn't really jacking that. So he started putting little bugs in my ear about her. Like, yo, of us are better without a woman. And, and she bougie and this and that. He put me on the spot, and I'm like, what you mean by that? And clearly, he just wanted to hear me say, because you've given me reason why not. You understand what I'm saying? But in that moment, I right. was trying to figure out why is he asking me that. He was like, just because I'm talking to your wife, you already getting nervous and all that. So one of his men came up to me, and they was like, yo, why are you over there all nervous? Because I'm from New York. We do pull-ups. We do push-ups. That's a pastime for us. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Sitting there doing some pull-ups in, the in front of the house, and the nigga's like, yo, why you all puffing up and all that. What's wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, dog. Because I was in my feelings. I'm like, yo, this bitch, I didn't even give my own wife the benefit of the doubt at the time. I was like, oh, she's just going to fall and crumble like everybody else did. I was like, I lost her. It was fun while it lasted. You understand what I'm saying? But right. come to find out, sure he stood tall for me. But in that moment, something in my heart clicked and I knew it was going to turn into the me and her show now. Everything was going to be about us and about how, how, I'm, I, how I'm acting different. I'm all in my feelings. Ever since she came here and shit like this, you understand? Right. But nobody ever really did that. Like, yo, nah, I'm not for you. I'm for him. You know? So when right. that happened, 
somebody asked me, what do you think that meeting is about involving your wife? And I'm like, I don't know. Nature Boy probably being King Dingaling. And obviously that shit got back to him. Because in my heart, I felt like, my nigga, if she go with him, then that's not for me. But obviously it was for me because she stood up. She was like, nah, I'm not for you. I ain't come here for all. I came here for him. The way he articulated your message is why I vibrated here. You understand what I'm saying? Right. He wasn't jacking that. So the night of the tent of the uh, snow, the rainstorm, I was upstairs getting my stuff together in the storage room, taking a lot of the stuff out my tent so it don't get wet. So somebody right. must have, somebody must have told him like, yo, this nigga referred to you as King Dingaling. So he looked at me and he was like, King Dingaling. And the way I said it was just like, like you know, he being King Dingaling, like he might he might crack her. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to lie. I was in my feelings. Like, yo, that's wrong. As, if I'm your man, why you... My wife supposed to be your sister. That's how I look at it. So in my heart, I was just like, yo, that's wrong. And there's no way you could flip it. Like, I don't jack that. I don't agree with it. So obviously, that got back to him. And he was like... He kind of took it personal with me. He was like, nigga, I was King Dingling before. I'm only defending myself and what I know is right. I said that because you having a meeting with my wife, right? And y'all y'all bought a hammock, and when I was about to walk over, you kind of brushed it off. Like, yeah, you could come over, but you didn't want me to come over because you said we about to have a group discussion about it anyway. But come to find out, what you told Shorty is not what you told us when we was in the group meeting. He was like, yo, y'all could trust me with y'all wives. I don't want y'all wives. Like, they love y'all, and I love this. Playing that mind game on them, basically saying... Right, 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 right. But basically... Right, but basically he found, yeah, but basically she was loyal and they wasn't really jacking that because most of the women there, they're, they're a bit older than her. So they feel like they got more wisdom than her. Right. But it, it's not about your age. It's about your consciousness. And Shorty was conscious enough within herself to be like, nah, I'm not doing that. You're not, you're not going to force me to do something I don't agree with. So that was really the final straw because after that night, we stood outside all night until the rain subsided. Then we go inside to talk. And he was basically telling me, like, yo, she a demon. She trying to drag you back to hell and all this shit. And I'm like, nah, she ain't a demon. She just, th she's not thinking right right now. So he's basically telling her, like, why, why, why have you changed this man? Basically saying that I was better off without her. He even asked everybody, like, yo, wasn't he performing just as good with her or without her? Kind of, kind of trying to soften the blow, butter her up in a way to say, if she's not loyal to me, if she leaves me for him, I'll be all right, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's still not the wrong thing to do. But in that moment, she stood up. She was like, you're trying to manipulate the situation. She was basically standing up for herself, which most yeah. people don't know whether they right or wrong. They're just going to be quiet because they're in his presence. They're just going to let him have that. But she wasn't doing that. When she was standing up for herself and telling him how he's, how he's wrong there, he basically told her, yo, you're just demon. You shouldn't even talk no more. Like, I should be the one speaking in her place or whatever. So he was like, yo, she got to go. What you going to do? I'm like, nah, I'm not ready to leave. She not going either. She my wife. So he basically said, yo, she got to go, my nigga. What you going to do? And I'm like, yo, I'm not ready to leave. So he basically told her, like, what you going to do? So she said, nah, I'm staying because obviously I'm staying. She want to go wherever I go. But in that moment, he said, matter of fact, she got to go. So what you going to do? You ready to dip? And I, in that moment, I just thought about it. And I just shook my head like, yo. What I'm going to do, I'm going to continue to ignore the signs. I say, yeah, I am ready to dip. But prior to that, let me, back, let, me fat, let me backtrack a little bit. As soon as wifey touched down on the premises, right, as soon as she touched down on the compound, she started pointing shit out like, yo, did he just say this but did the other thing? And I would quiet her. I will be like, yo, mind your business. Let grown folks talk. Like, I would really brush it, brush it off my shoulder. Like, yo, you don't know what you're talking about, young girl. You got a lot of experience to learn. But little did I know, I was just ignoring the truth. She was like, yo, this nigga don't love you. He don't care about you. And I'm like, what is you talking about? Mind your business. Watch how you speak to me, first of all. But all along, she was right. So when I stopped ignoring her, that's when I finally opened my eyes and was like, yo, you know what? Somebody who really cares for you ain't going to try to plot on your wife. Somebody who really cares for you ain't going to try to finagle a situation to benefit them in a certain way for no reason. You're just going to say the truth. Whether you look like an asshole or not, the truth is the truth. So I don't even care how I'm coming across to people in this moment because I'm sharing my truth. And I'm not here to talk about any other, any other reflections experience I was there. I'm talking about myself and what I went through with the man. So this is a personal experience I had with him. But as soon as she would get there, as soon as she got there, she would say things like, yo, this nigga talking about you're a filter of him and I should be with him and not with her.
but she came to me and told me that in that moment before we had a group thing. He obviously didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I'm like, yo, she's just so pure. Like, she's just trying to express what happened. So he was trying to come to me and let me know what happened before her. But he interrupted that while it was happening. But little did he know, she just shoot from the hip. She's so pure that she's just letting me know what happened. Like, she don't. E she's not even trying to, she's just telling me the truth, not even trying to paint, yeah. not even trying to his image to me. She's just being honest. All right, listen. You know what I'm saying? Hold how, I, how I, I don't want to cut you off. But I hear you, but my phone, my, yeah. my phone say 20%. So I got to shoot these, I got to shoot these questions. But ahead, long story short, he's a scumbag. And it just proves that he don't want no women around that can think for themselves. And he out here trying to take niggas, girls. But I got to just shoot some questions out before before my phone get to die. It's on 20% now, so we all right. But long story short, I want to know, have you ever, because Nature Boy has said some weird ass shit. So right. you can answer it yes or no. You ain't got to go into detail. But have you ever witnessed or got some some whiffs of some homosexual activity going on over there? Not at all. Not okay. at all. People DM me, like, images of him in his past life and shit like that. I'm not going to lie. Hold on. Jay, Jay Versace here. <laughs> Jay Versace said he let dogs lead his, eat his ass. But go ahead. Go ahead. Sure. No, say that again. I said, I, while I was out there, I had people DMing me like images of him when he was dancing or whatever. But these are things that he admitted to publicly. And me, you know, I'm from. The no, 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 no. See, I got to I got to stop you right there Go ahead. because you must don't know. I got the screenshot. I'm going to show you. Nature Boy lied. With Nate, this is this is a screenshot from Nature Boy to me on November 16th, 19th and 18th. I'm me and Ashe Divine played the video of him doing, you know, in the gay porno. He said, I forgive you. Then he said, FYI, that's not me in that video. He lied. I told him to come in my live. As you can see here, he didn't come. So the reason I got to stop you is because he didn't admit this shit publicly. The only reason he admitted this shit is because we was hammering on this nigga. So I don't want him to finesse you and act like, oh, I had a past. I admitted to it. Because that nigga was lying. We made him We made him make that video where he was like, yo, the, ho the homosexual, that was me. I made, me and I should put that pressure on him. So I just don't want you to think that he he looked you in your face as a man and was like, nigga, this is my past. Because had it never been for us, nigga, you would have, them pictures would have never got out. Mike Brown would have never got out. Him being a gay stripper would have never got out. Oh, none of that would have never got out. So I wanted to stop you there. But me, me continuing to shoot these questions. Um, have you ever seen anything that would suggest, if not you've seen direct uh, womanizing activity or physical abuse towards any of the women that he's with? Not from his part. On my behalf, I, like I said, I openly admitted to, I put hands on that female. You feel me what I'm saying? No, no, no. We, I, I'm just talking about nature boy. Like, right. do you think his women are? Do you think his women are scared of him? To a certain degree, yeah, I would say yeah. I would, I would ask you why. Like, do you check? Cause I seen him check him on camera. Yeah, I, I think, see check him like like very strong reprimand with his words and stand over them and all this type of shit. Yeah, so I would say that. Right, like intimidation tag. Now let me ask you. Does Nature Boy sleep on a bed? Not at all. We sleep in tents. We sleep while while I was out there, we were sleeping in tents. Except not, for not, like, not here, you go ahead. Nah, except for like maybe we traveled out of the location where the home was at. We went into like the city, so we rented an apartment or whatever. In that case, we stood in beds, but that was for like a week at a time, maybe. But for the generally, we sleep outside, grounded to the earth, in tents. You know what I mean? But yes, there is, right. a, there is a home there. You know what I mean? Right. Now, the only reason I ask you that is because these women are pregnant. And, you know, I'm no, uh, you know, chiropractor. But I don't, think it's, I don't think it's healthy for a pregnant woman to be sleeping on a flat surface like a floor. So the only reason I, I'm, I'm, ask, I'm asking them questions is because like I said, y'all, y'all the family. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't, if I didn't never see you over there with Nature Boy, and I ran into you, I wouldn't have no problem with you. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna act like we gotta be. 
because you was once a part of Carbon Nation. But I want people to know that if, if Nature Boy is intimidating you or the situation is uncomfortable, whether you a man or a female, you could come back home. You know what I'm saying? If y'all get stuck, it gets stuck over. I don't go fuck about these comments. I don't go fuck about these views. You know what I'm saying? This is just me talking to you and anybody. If a mother, if one of y'all decide y'all want to come back, you can DM me or I say, and we'll help y'all come the fuck back home. You know, to y'all families. Because at the end of the day, this shit might be entertainment for the average motherfucker. But this is we real mother, we real people. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want dumb women over there. You know what I'm saying? Even though I had to get on PJ head because she was getting smart out the motherfucking mouth. But outside that, I don't want them women to feel like if they need some help, they can't call out for help. EJ too. Because EJ got a smart ass mouth for no reason. But EJ, if you want to bring your ass home, you can DM me. I won't say shit. And we'll get you we'll get you the fuck out of there because it's, it's, it's you pregnant. We got to be serious here because the thing about, you know, Nature Boy is that nigga not no trained doula. He ain't no baby deliverer. What what the fuck? He, he got three women pregnant. What he going to do if they go in labor at the same time? What he going to do if a fucking umbilical cord get a, get wrapped around one of the babies next? What he going to do if the dilation process stops and they got to get an emergency C-section? What And they already admitted to having, you know, a, a sexually transmitted disease. A, 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 a sexually transmitted disease that I'm not trying to make fun of them of for, but being serious can cause blindness to the baby, can cause deafness to the baby. So, so you, so, so you got three women out there that's dealing with a nigga who is intimidating them to the point where they are negating their own safe delivery because you can die during giving birth. And so, at, and so at some point in time, we gotta have hospitality for our people and say, I don't give a fuck what YouTube video you watch. I don't give a fuck what ascension path you was on. You can stay on that path, but if you around a nigga that's, that's sucking your life, you could come home. You could come home. We, 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 that nigga can't, you could go live and we could, we could all watch you safely make your way to the motherfucking airport. You know what I'm saying? We, that nigga ain't. Floorbrush said his sponsors, his sponsors got caught. You seeing this, right? Right, queen? You seeing this, right? So we know we, okay, hold on, bruh back. He back in the building. Okay. Hold on. He back in the building. He back in the building. All right. Yeah, I don't know what happened, bro. It just kicked me off. I don't know what happened. You can hear? Yeah, I can hear you. I was just saying, I don't know what happened. The shit just kicked me out. Oh, I thought your phone had, had battery had died. No, nah, that shit just, I don't know what happened. It just kicked me out. But anyway, like I was saying, like I was saying, yeah, I don't want nobody over there to feel like they can't leave if they don't want to leave. And that and that we scrutinizing them to the point where they ain't, they ain't got nobody who they could call for help. You know what I'm saying? So, right. because the reason I asked is Nature Boy abusive to, to them women is because, did, did you see that picture that I posted of what he did to his baby mother? I have not, no. Okay, let me let me show you right now. See, I, I wanna I wanna show you so you can see for your own self so can't nobody never say, you know, you're not seeing things, you you're not speaking from your own observation. You know what I'm saying? Right. So let me go to the pictures real quick. I'm going to them right now. Because he he blacked these girls' eyes. I mean he blacked this damn girl eyes. Bad as hell. I'm talking about swollen whole shit. Okay, here we go right here. Hold on. I'm pulling them up right now. My computer just moving a little slow because I got a thousand tabs. But it's all good. All right, hold on. So anyway, while I'm going, I'm going to keep talking. While I'm pulling it up, I'm going to keep talking. But yeah, I don't want them women to feel like they ain't got no help. Because, because a lot of the times, we live in a community where people are people take the clown shit too far. And we and we forget that 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 we you know that 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 we supposed to be you know uh, always of aid to each other. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of the times, you know, we we like to laugh at what we think is another person's plight, whether it's a plight or not. You know, we like to make spectacles. So I don't want nobody. I don't want these women to feel like just because we saying they dumb as hell for being with that nigga, which is very true. You are dumb as hell for being with him. 
but I don't want them to feel like the the, the, side, the, the moment that they feel like they don't want to be there, they stuck because you're not stuck. And so, like I was saying, if you gotta go, if you gotta DM DM one of us and go live on Instagram to make sure you make it out of there safe, that's what the fuck we gonna do. You know what I'm saying? We we gonna we gonna we gonna make sure. You know, we reel our people back in no matter what mistakes they make. Okay, here go the pictures right here. Let me show you. Now, this is why I worry for them girls. Because this is what Nature Boy did to his baby mother. You see this? Wow, I've never see? seen that. See? Now, this is the, uh, now, you see both her eyes is shut. Both her eyes is shut. Funny thing is, and he so here go another picture. You see, you see the knot on her shit, right? Yeah, he mentioned that. He said he had he had caught a case about that, and somehow he beat it. So he was just like, "I'll never." He he was praying to the universe, like, "Yo, if you get me off of this one, I'll never mess with this one again." And whatever. I remember he mentioned that. I'm See? not sure if that girl he was talking about, but I could assume it is. Word. Yeah. So 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 my I don't know if that's the one he caught the case with, but I know he beat the hell out of this girl. And so my point is, you know, he got women over there, and he's an undercover homosexual. You can't be, you can't have no, that's dangerous. He over there beating on you. You know what I'm saying? He could be, over, we don't know. And then the reason I say that is because I seen him make a video and I got the video. So he can't lie. I keep receiving. He said right. in the video out of his mouth that he physically disciplined his women. So I'm like, nigga, if you willing to say that on camera and then you doing intimidation tactics and shit, that means it's safe to assume that you put hands on them off the camera. If you're willing to say on camera that he phys that he get physical, and then Yaya, as Florida just mentioned, just stated that he's abusive. One of his wives, ex-wives, stated that he's abusive. So I don't want them women over there feeling like, you know, they can't come home if they want to come home. You know, that's my point. But uh, like I said, you know, I ain't really, I ain't really, as you can see, you know, from experience, I didn't bring you on here to try to, you know, make no spectacle. I, I brought you on here. Because I want to interview each and everybody that I can from over there to let people know, you know, a, a, a different perspective versus what this nigga trying to put out on the Internet. You know what I'm saying? And, and so it's, it's nice to know for people at least to be like, you know what, nigga, if you go over there, don't go over there with your girl. Because you're not the first person that said Nature Boy tried to go at your girl. It was another dude who left from over there with his wife. And he said Nature Boy act like he tried to lift his wife up and try to, you know, stick his fingers between her legs. And so I don't okay. know if you seen that video, but, wow. you know, that's... And, and let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask you a question. Are y'all allowed to, like, watch expose videos or anything that's negative about Nature Boy? Like, can y'all watch that shit on y'all own, or do we try to censor it? No, nah, we pretty much had access to all of that, which is why he would, he would like, he would, like, buffer it. He would, he would basically watch watch the videos and admit to whatever y'all putting out about him and just, I guess, explain it to us because he understood how if, if, if we're in his presence and then we watching y'all videos, that that might, you know what I mean, convince us to think other than what we already think about him. So definitely, you know what I mean? But for the most part, like I said, man, uh, I don't judge nobody off their experience with you until I experience it with, until I have that experience with you on my own. But like you said, if 20 people give a review about a certain restaurant, Something got to be true. So that makes Correct. sense, you know what I mean? And like you said about the females, right? I've heard all of that, but as soon as I got there, I experienced it, you know what I mean? Because I was there, I went there with a female, and he literally finagled her into being with somebody else. Not the, not, not, in, in both of their defense, not to say she didn't want to be with the guy, but the fact that she went from him to me to him to me, I could tell that she was just moving with the wind. And honestly, I felt bad for the girl. I wanted her to stand up for herself, so I was frustrated with her. Even then, it wasn't clear enough to me until my wife came here and was telling me, yo, he's being disloyal, he's doing this, he's doing that. And when, once he saw that she wasn't cracking, he was like, she got to go. And basically, part of them, part of him felt like, like she the youngest, she the prettiest. What you mean, that's your wife? Like, nah, she got to go. She ain't my wife, she got to go, basically. So I experienced it firsthand. So I could say yes, like, yeah, he be trying niggas girl because he did it with my wife, you know what I mean? But if you tell right. me that, I can't necessarily agree or disagree. But again, like, a lot, of, most of our people don't have to experience that to understand. They know I was there, like, and I have no reason to make any lies about anything because this is just my experience with him. I don't, 
the way you view him has nothing to do with me. I'm just putting out the that's truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And let me let me throw two, let me throw a couple more questions out before my phone get ready to die, right? Two questions. One of them was a comment, and I, I actually like the comment. And so I want to I want to turn that to a question. So so if people see an exposed video on Nature Boy and they and they over there, right? Yeah. What what makes them say, okay, you know, I, I approve of this behavior? Like, I'm pretty sure they seen us talk about the pedophile shit. I'm pretty sure they seen us talk about the homo shit. I'm pretty sure they seen us talk about how he said he had sex with somebody that had AIDS. I'm pretty sure they seen everything that we brought up. What makes them say, you know what, we still going to ride with your ass, Nature Boy? Well, from, I can only speak for myself. It was just my loyalty, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm riding with you, I'm riding with you till the wheels fall off. And, you know, if there's something that needs to be addressed amongst men, we can do that. So I would say what he would do is, if he knows these videos are coming out about him, whether he, he wouldn't be able to know if he watched it or not, unless, of course, we bring it to his attention. But he would just uh, openly have a discussion about it. Like, yo, I've done this, this in my past. And most people that talk about me only talk about what happened in my past and things like that which had a lot of validity to it, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't see that side of him, obviously. When we out there, we don't see no homosexual activity. We don't see none of that, you know what I mean? So I can't, I can't base uh, uh, my judgment of him off that. But he would definitely admit to it or just uh, try to, I guess, debunk or create a rebuttal to what's being said about him. You know? Right, 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 rebut it. Let me, let me ask you one more question because my phone said 10%. Go ahead. Okay, I heard, I heard, I heard from somebody who tried to go over there, right? I'm not going to uh, say their name because I don't remember their name or else I would say it. But right. there was a girl who tried to come over there and she basically said she didn't go over there because Nature Boy was trying to get her to, you know, sexually have sexual, in I mean, excuse me, have sexual intercourse with Ileana. And so I wanted to ask you. Is Ileana like, does Ileana like basically break the, basically there's two questions. One, does Ileana like break the new girls in for Nature Boy? And for two, have you ever, because people saying that, that orgy is going on over there. So I'm just asking you, you know, it's fooling yourself. Have you ever basically seen his wife or, or women over there just basically sexually interact with anybody outside of him? Like basically is, is, is sexual, you know, freedom, is that how shit is rocking over there? You, what's your... My wife came through me and he was trying to All right, and the reason I say that is because Ileana was Ileana basically admitted that and was saying that she liked girls and basically, you know, she basically, you know, in so many words, she breaking motherfuckers in. But now my last question is, is anybody over there having any outbreaks? Because children, children's safety is involved. Hold on, we, we can't hear you. Say that again. All right, because the only reason I ask that is because nature what. Go ahead, go All right. Ahead. Yeah, and I only okay. asked that because Nature Boy said, "Yeah, yeah." Nature Boy said they had one outbreak, but of course, you know, it's we only could get certain answers from your experience, so it's definitely respected and appreciated. But I don't want my phone to hang up because I want right. to be able to save this live, so I'm gonna definitely tune out and save it. But I'm gonna let you know, you know, if y'all, I don't know if y'all plan on staying out there or what, but that's your business. You can keep it private. But if y'all ever trying to come back over here and whatever, whatever, you know, DM me. And you know we could we could definitely make sure y'all get home because you know this this is beyond entertainment. You know what I'm saying? This is real life. And so, if anybody ever want to leave from over there, or y'all from over there, but you still in another country and you want to come back to the U.S., make sure y'all hit me up. Have somebody hit me up if you wanted to stay confidential. I won't blow your spot up, and we'll make sure that you know y'all can get back home away from that motherfucker. But with that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna click this off so that way it don't freeze. But I appreciate you. And bro, you know you we in each other DM, so I mean you ain't got to be no stranger. Hit me up if you need me, and you know etc. And I definitely appreciate you pulling up. Yo, thank you for allowing me to share my truth on the platform, man. Peace, God. All right.
No, that's right. That's love. And if you need me, if you need me, just I'm just a message away. That, that's dead. That's on everything. All right, one. All right, peace. All right, peace. All right, y'all, my phone about to die, but go to yp.instagram live. That's my Instagram live. Uh, That's my Instagram live channel. All right, I'm, I'm saving this video now, and I got the earlier portion, and I'm going to upload it on there, and so y'all can watch it, et cetera, and do what y'all do. So love y'all. I'm gone. All right, family, we back live really quickly. This is going to be real quick. Real quick, because I forgot to ask the brother one question. So we we uh we coming back live really quick for two just for two seconds. Two seconds. We coming back live really quick. Cause I forgot to ask the brother one. All right. I forgot to ask the brother one damn quite one important ass question. All right. Okay, I'm just waiting for the audio to come in, bro. Okay, we straight. You can hear me? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, I can hear you. Yeah, so that's my bad. I forgot to ask you this one question. I just wanted to ask you it so I could have it on the record. But um, so I don't know if you heard about this because you came after he already had his, his wave going. But long story short, you know, Key's mother died. I don't know if you ever heard about how, how Nature Boy was getting his money from Key's, but basically Key's... Well, Nature Boy had two forms of income. He was getting $10,000 every month from one of his undercover sexual lovers named Mike Brown. And I'm pretty sure you probably didn't know this. And then nah. he got $300,000 from, he got $300,000 from the dude over there named Keys that you probably met. Now, what happened was Keys' mother died and they illegally, you know, reopened the bank account and was taking the money out of her bank account. So, what I wanted to ask you was not that because we got all the receipts on that, but I, but basically what Nature Boy does, as we've seen other videos done by members who've left, such as one named Kino, is Nature Boy makes people come over there with their money and their debit cards and their assets, and he takes it in the form of what he calls putting it in a pot. And so I right. wanted to ask you, right? But he call, right. And so I wanted to ask you, when people give Nature Boy their money, does he control? the way that the money is spent and does he control if they can spend the money on them own selves, even though they donated it? Uh, yeah, because what happens is if you have something to donate, he'll definitely, uh, I guess, dictate or allocate where that bread is being spent. But just to be clear, like if you need something, you're going to get whatever it is that you need. If you say, yo, I need this, this and that, that's obviously going to come, you come to you. He's going to make sure you get that. But, um, he definitely dictates what's going to happen with it. But don't get it twisted like it's about the money in a sense. Not to say that right. it's not, that it is. But if you, if, he's allowed people to come to him with zero dollars as well. No, right, 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 right. I don't think, I, I don't think that, you know, he's saying if you come over here or whatever, you got to or got to, you do or don't got to have money because he got his own little agenda and reasons for why he let certain people come. But I just wanted to see, I just wanted to, you know, ask the question to see if he is, you know, the one controlling the money that people is donating. And so that's all I, that's all I wanted to ask you. But this phone about to die, but I just wanted to get that on record. But like I said, I appreciate you, bro, pulling up. If you need me, holler. Once again, uh, I would like to do an Ili uh, interview with uh, Ileana, a.k.a. EJ, or anybody over there just to make sure y'all straight. And, and to talk to y'all one-on-one because y'all are individuals and y'all got your own damn voices. And, you know, we, we want to make sure y'all Gucci. And, you know, I'm not on no under, underhanded evil shit. I'm coming from a place of love and, and, and non-ridicule. But with that being said, I'm gone. My phone about to die. Appreciate you, bro. Holla. All right. All right, y'all. All right. So on the way out, once again, anybody over there in Carbon Nation, you know, whether you want to leave or don't want to leave, once again, specifically, Eliana, EJ, I would love to do an interview with you, you know, even though we exchange some words to make sure that you're okay because you are having a child and we do care. You know, everybody's not assholes, you know, so I'm not here to ridicule you or belittle you or none of that. And, you know, whether you want to leave or don't want to leave, you know, I know Nature Boy told you to block me on Instagram, but un unblock me off of Instagram and please respond to my Instagram message. So that way we can communicate and I can make sure you straight. 
because he's a, he's a, in, a, a he is own individual. You your own individual. Should no nigga be uh you know controlling whether you at least saying that you okay. We just want to make sure that you okay, and he not saying that you okay. So you know, hit me back. You know, let's do an interview on Instagram. You know, you see this one went smooth. We ain't here to play with nobody. We all grown, and you know it's it's, it's bigger than that. Okay, and with that being said, love y'all. Peace. Gone.